Hi, I'm Nacieli and today's tutorial is for the Spanda and Amigurumi. We make it, we can make it as, as a keychain and also like a small toy. This one is a rattle. I made it with a 4.5 millimeters hook and this one I made with a 2.5 millimeter hook. And in the video, I'm going to be making with 1.75 millimeters hook. If you like uh, keychains, I have other patterns like uh, this strawberry. Uh, this one, you can make it as an earring also if you do it with a really uh, thin yarn. And also, I have this bunny rabbit keychain. They are way smaller than the panda, uh, and they all are uh, one piece, so we don't need to do um, any sewing on it. So let's get started. So my plan is to make it a, a, a even smaller one in the video. So I'm using a 1.75 millimeter hook and a 100% cotton yarn with a thin one that is compatible with this hook. So if you already like this pattern, don't forget to click on the thumbs up. And if you make it, uh, remember to tag me on Instagram and give me the credits for it. The rounds one up to four we do it all in white so we're gonna start by doing a magic ring here for the first round and we're gonna do six single crochets on it so one two three four five and six so we finished the first round with six stitches and now we pull our marker. For the second round, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna increase six times. So one, Two single crochets together on the same stitch once this is one increase two increases three four five and six increases we finish round number two with 12 stitches now uh, for round number three we're gonna do one single crochet and one increase and we're gonna repeat that six times one single crochet in the next one increase so that's one single crochet one increase once one single crochet one increase twice one single crochet one increase three times one single crochet one increase four times one single crochet one increase five times And one single crochet, one increase six times. 
So we finish round number three with 18 stitches. For round number four, we're gonna do two single crochets and one increase. And we're gonna repeat that up to the end of our round uh, six times. So one single crochet, two single crochets and one increase. One time, one, two single crochets, one increase. Two times, one, two single crochets, one increase. Three times, one, two single crochets, one increase. Four times, one, two single crochets, and one increase. Five times, one, two single crochets, and one increase. Six times. We finish round number four with 24 stitches. For round number five, we're gonna start doing some uh, color changes. We're gonna start by doing eight single crochets with white. So, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth one, we're gonna do halfway. So you do like that and you stop here. And now you start using uh, the black color together. So here, we're gonna finish the stitch with the color black. I'm gonna finish this stitch here. And now I'm gonna do a popcorn stitch with the black. For the popcorn stitch, we do first four double crochets in the same stitch. So one double crochet, two, three, double crochets. Now the fourth double crochet, we're gonna start and do a halfway. Now the last part of the double crochet, we change back to uh, white and we finish the stitch with uh, a white loop. So to make this double crochet as a popcorn stitch, we come here on the first stitch, the, uh, the first um, double crochet and we take this loop and pull through. Now we have one popcorn stitch in black. And now we're gonna do um, six single crochets in white. So we're gonna do here. We gotta tie it up this one so it gets really neat. So one, two, three, four, five, and six the sixth one we just do it halfway and then we finish with our back black color and now we're gonna do another popcorn stitch using black and we start the popcorn stitch by doing four double crochets so on the same stitch so here in the next one i'm gonna do one double crochets crochet two three and four the fourth one we finish the last part with the white thread so we pull the last loop here with white now we come through here and pull through and now we have a popcorn stitch and we're gonna finish round number five by doing eight single crochets in white again so one two three 
four, five, six, seven, and eight single crochets in white. So we got here in our marker and we finish round number five with 24 stitches still because the popcorn stitch counts as one. Now for round number six, we're just gonna do 24 single crochets in white. So stitch, uh, no increases or decreases, just 24 stitches, 24 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Thirteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. So we finish round number six with twenty-four single crochets. Now we're gonna undo the last part of this one because I forgot to do the color change because round number seven is completely in black. And we're just gonna do 24 single crochets in black. So we finish this last stitch with black and then we start. One, two, three, four, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 stitches. 24 single crochets. We finish round number seven with 24 stitches. Uh, rounds number eight, nine, and 10 uh, are, are gonna be made completely in black too. So we're gonna start by doing six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets. Now one popcorn stitch with four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four double crochets in the same stitch. Now a popcorn. So six single crochets, one popcorn stitch, 10 single crochets now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 single crochets, one more popcorn stitch. One, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna make it as a popcorn. And we're gonna finish the round by doing six single crochets again. So one, two, three, four, five, six single crochets. So we finish this round, round number eight, still with 24 stitches. 
For round number nine, we're gonna do one single crochet and one decrease, and we're gonna repeat that eight times. So, one single crochet, one decrease. Once, one single crochet, one decrease. Two times, one single crochet, One decrease three times, one single crochet, one decrease four times, one single crochet, one decrease five times, one single crochet, one decrease six times, one single crochet, one decrease seven times. One single crochet and one decrease eight times. So we got to the end of this round, round number nine with 16 stitches. Now for round number 10, we're just gonna do eight decreases, but first we're gonna stuff the body now. I'm gonna stuff mine and then I come back. So I stuffed the body, and now we're gonna do round number 10 with eight decreases. So, one, decrease, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight decreases. This one I'm gonna do it halfway and then I'm gonna change to white. This next round is gonna be in white. I'm gonna stuff a little bit more the body. So I stuffed the body some more and now we're gonna do round number 11. We're gonna do eight increases. So, one, increase, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight increases so we finished this round this was round number 11 with 16 stitches again uh, round number 12 13 and 14 it's going to be completely in white two uh, for round 12 we're going to do one single crochet and one increase uh, and we're going to repeat that eight times so one single crochet and one increase eight times one single crochet one increase one time one single crochet and one increase two times one single crochet one increase three times one single crochet and one increase four times one single crochet one increase five times one single crochet one increase six times one single crochet one increase seven times and one single crochet one increase eight times so we finished this round this was round 12 uh, we finished with 24 stitches for round 13, we're going to do three single crochets and one increase six times. So three single crochets, one increase six times. One, two, three single crochets, 
one increase. Once one two three single crochets one increase twice and one two three single crochets and one increase six times and we finish round number 13 with 30 stitches for round number 14 we're just gonna do 30 single crochets in white so one two three four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine and 30 single crochets so we finish round number 14 with 30 stitches and now in round 15 we're gonna start using black again so we're gonna start by doing 12 single crochets in white one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven the t the twelve one we just do halfway and then change colors in the last part of the stitch and pull through and now we're gonna do two single crochets in black so one and the second one halfway change to white because now we're gonna do five single crochets in white. So one, two, three, four, and the fifth one, we just do a halfway change to black and do two single crochets in black now. So one, the second one halfway, change colors, and now I'm going to finish the round with nine single crochets in white. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We finish round number 15 still with 30 stitches. For round 16, we're gonna start by doing 11 single crochets in white. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oops, eight, nine, ten. The 11th one we do a halfway and then we change to black. Now you're gonna do four single crochets in black. So one, two, three, and the last one we do halfway change to white and now three single crochets in white one two the third one halfway change to black four single crochets in black again 
one, two, three. The fourth one halfway, change to white. And now we're going to finish the round by doing eight single crochets in white. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we finish round number 16 with 30 stitches still. For round 17, we're going to start by doing 12 single crochets in white. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the twelfth one we're gonna do halfway and change colors to black. Now we're gonna do three single crochets in black one two third one we do a halfway change to white and now we're gonna do three single crochets in white so one Two. and the third one halfway in white and another half in black now we're gonna do four single crochets in black one Two, three, and the fourth one halfway finish in white. And now we're going to finish this round with eight single crochets in white. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. We finish round 17 still with 30 stitches. For round 18, we're gonna start with 13 single crochets in white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, we do half in white, half in black. And now we're going to do two single crochets in black. So one, and two. the second one halfway, change to white. Three single crochets in white. One, two, the third one halfway in white, finishing in black. And now we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease in black. So one single crochet, one decrease.
the decrease we do a halfway uh, in black and we finish with white and now we do eight single crochets and one incre increase in white so one two three four five six seven eight single crochets and one increase in white and we finish round number 18 still with 30 stitches for round 19 um, we're gonna do 30 single crochets in white so one Two, three, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. So we finish round nineteen with thirty stitches, and now we're gonna place our eyes and do the nose. So this was round number nineteen. Between round sixteen and seventeen, we're gonna place the eyes. So. 19, 18, 17, and 16. So between these two rounds, we're gonna place the eyes, and we need to have five single crochets between them. So one, two, three, four. Um, I'm gonna be using five millimeter eyes. So one, two, three, four. In the fifth one, we place the eyes. Now, it's too tiny. So one, two, three, four, and the next we place our eyes. And the nose goes underneath. So this was between round 16 and 17. Now between rounds 15 and 16, we're gonna do the nose. So 15 and 16. And we're gonna come here in the first white stitch here and I'm gonna use the yarn that I'm already uh, using but you can just embroider if you want but I think this way is easier I just pull this yarn here that I'm using you see there's a loop now I'm gonna come here on I, so this is one stitch we skip one the next one this one I'm gonna pull the nose here so I take this loop and pull there you go have the nose and now I'm gonna tie it up so this is the loop we got and this is the thread that is still attached that we're still gonna use and I'm just gonna do a knot here two knots actually so I'm going to tie one time and two times so it's really secure. If you think it's easier, you can just take one, uh, another yarn and do it. But I like to do it with the one that I'm already using. I don't have to cut a new one. So I do it like that. I'm going to place my safety locks and then I come back so we can do the rounds. Uh, 20 on so I placed my safety locks now we're gonna do round number 20 this round round is completely in white and we're gonna do one single crochet and one decrease 10 times so one single crochet one decrease one time one single crochet one decrease two times one single crochet one decrease three times one single crochet one decrease four times one single crochet one decrease nine times 
and one single crochet one decrease 10 times so we finish round number 20 with 20 stitches for round 21 we're gonna use black again so we're gonna start with six single crochets in white so one two three four five the sixth one we're gonna do halfway and then start using black Now we're going to do one popcorn stitch with black. So we start by doing four double crochets in the same stitch. So one, two, three double crochets. And now the fourth one, we do a halfway and finish with white. And we pull through. Now we're going to do nine single crochets. One, two, in white. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the last one, we do halfway, change to black. And now we're going to do one popcorn stitch in black. So first, four double crochets, one. Two, three, and we finish the fourth one in white now we pull through and then we finish round 21 with three single crochets in white so one two and three uh, so now the last two rounds, rounds 22 and 23, we do all in white. So we can cut here uh, the back black thread and uh, secure it. I'm going to do that and then I come back. So I cut and secure the black yarn. And now let's go back. Also, I stuffed a little bit ahead. And now let's go back to crocheting. So for round 22, we're going to do 20 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oops, 18, 19, 
and 20. Now I'm going to stuff a little bit more the head and then do our last round which is round number 23 with 10 decreases. Head stuffed, now we're going to do 10 decreases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we finish round 23 with 20, with 10 stitches. Now we're gonna cut this yarn. I'm gonna leave long, uh, leave a long tail because I'm gonna use it to sew in the keychain, and also I'm gonna stuff a little bit more the head. Head stuffed. Now I place my tapestry needle here, and now we're gonna do inverted magic ring by taking the front loops two out of ta at a time subscribe to the channel if you like my patterns share and don't forget to give a thumbs up so now I'm gonna pull through and tie it up so that's a good inverted magic ring I'm gonna come here in the middle and then come out somewhere random, tie a knot here so it's very firm and I'm gonna come out here again to sew in the keychain. So I'm gonna pull through and through the head a few times. So it's really stuck in. Oops. And now I'm going to secure here by tying a knot. I'm going to lose my yarn. there you go there's our tiny little keychain so this one is way smaller because of the thickness of the yarn so what I always want to show you is you can do the pattern in any size any yarn you want it's just gonna have like different shapes uh, not shapes, <laughs> different sizes. So this I use a 4.5 millimeter hook and a compatible yarn. This a 2.5 millimeter hook and a compatible yarn. And this a 1.75 millimeter hook and a compatible yarn. If you like this video, don't forget to leave the thumbs up. If you want to see uh, my other keychains i'm gonna give a link here all the keychains playlist and i also have other bigger animals like i'm gonna link down here uh the playlist for the safari amigurumis they are bigger if you like to try it too thank you for watching up to the end see you next time bye bye